using the same uh, slide. Um, <laughs> you, stole, you stole my style. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Uh, everyone, I think, is going to use this. The, uh, it's, the, it's the theme of the night. Okay, so where the are... Yeah, the theme of Google. I, know, I just went down the list. Yep, that looks good. I thought, what's the chance of anyone else using it? Uh, so far, pretty so good. First. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So where are your soft skills? There is a joke there. Um, my name's Tim Bro. Uh, I look after tech strategy, tech teams. Uh, I was a developer. Um, you know, I'm a logical sort of guy, and this is sort of where some of these uh, ideas come from. So here are our soft skills. Um, so we're basically talking about everything that isn't your hard skills. So all of the skills you need to do the job except they're not technical, they're not tooling, they're, they're all of the things that allow people to work together and allow teams to work together. So as a logical tech STEM sort of guy in the, you know, in the product space, you sort of spend a lot of your time uh, not on your soft skills but on your hard skills, on, on learning the new frameworks, on learning a new development language and over time, what I've noticed is that the people that are sort of most successful and, and the people that I've sort of look up to when I see sort of their careers progress, I've been able to find a balance between these two. So they find a balance between doing their hard skills, the, the, the stuff you need to do the job, as well as the, the, the soft skills. So... Um, what we're going to do is just, this is a lightning talk, we don't have a lot of time. We're just going to sort of run through some of these skills and, and then sort of look at maybe some characters and see if you've uh, worked with people like these um, characters. So, and then we'll sort of pull apart what some of their soft skills uh, you know, could be improved. So, um, who's worked with someone like this? We can see everyone else's shortcomings, but they can't see their own. I mean, it's... Yeah, I think, you know, pretty much everyone has, has sort of worked with someone like this. And it, it comes down to one thing, and that uh, one thing is some self-awareness. So if, if you can see what other people are lacking, um, but you can't see what you're lacking yourself, there's their self-awareness. Now, that's self-awareness is one of the key tenets of emotional quotient, so EQ. Um, EQ can be learned and improved. You just need to work on it. IQ, you can also improve a little bit um, by working on it, but not a, not a lot. EQ, you can um, improve on it uh, by working on it. Um, IQ, you can decrease it by doing certain things, but it's hard to increase. <laughs> so self-awareness. Um, self-awareness is, is knowing um, what you're doing and knowing how it uh, interacts uh, with people and knowing how your interactions make people feel. So you can't improve your soft skills without understanding how your interactions um, affect other people. So here's the next character. People worked with uh, these sort of tough characters, so they know they're hard to work with, but um, they don't really want to change. And so this is another uh, another great one. So they've got some self awareness, which is fantastic. They know, you know, they're hard to work with, but they're lacking a few things. First thing is is empathy, and empathy is understanding how your actions impact someone else. Now this is fantastic for IT, and it's fantastic for product development. It's fantastic for the web because you need to understand not only the people around you and your teams, but you need to understand your, your customers, you need to understand your users. And if you have empathy for your users and empathy for your customers and empathy for your team, you're going to be a better um, resource for whatever it is that you're doing. So empathy is, is fantastic. Self-management. So let's say uh, you know hard to work with, you sort of understand the impact that's having on, on your team or, or so on, and then you just can't stop yourself doing something. So that happens to everyone. Everyone gets mad. Everyone sort of finishes a conversation and says, oh, I should, I should, 
should have done things slightly differently there. And that, that's exactly what you want to do is, is as you work on these soft skills, you, you want to replay not, uh, not endlessly in your head, but you want to replay it a little bit and say, oh, if I did this slightly differently, I think I'd get a better outcome. And that's, you know, that, that's something that's worked with me a little bit in the past. And the other thing here, very well worth noting, is even if you know some of this stuff, you can always improve it. So I'm, I, I, I find myself, uh, you know, I may have started down here and maybe I'm there, but you know, I've got a long way to go with all of these things because you know you can never be perfect. Um, and and of course, motivation. You need to um, you need to want to change. And, and motivation sits next to work ethic, and they're they you know two key soft skills um, that that are really important. So someone here works really hard, but is rarely recognised. So they're always complaining. I do everything, and no one seems to care. You go, well, what, why why might that be? If if you know if you're doing all the hard work, why does anyone care? You know your, your teammates, your boss, your, you know whoever. Um, so again, a, a, a few key soft skills that, that you might want to look at that could improve the situation. So communication. Does everyone know what you've been doing? You know, it's it's easy to look at the work that you've done and say, yeah, I've created a whole lot of value here. But does everyone else see that value? So you've got to tell people. You've got to, you've got to hammer that one home. Not in complicated messaging, but in simple messaging. Hammer it home. Tell people all the good stuff that you're doing. Now, you can do a job, but if your attitude was wrong, um, no, one's going to, no one's going to care. So if it's, it's always how you get somewhere that, that is important. And if you've got a good attitude... Uh, and the people around you recognise those attitudes, you, good things happen. And then, of course, there's, there's critical thinking. So critical thinking applies everywhere in, in, in web development. It applies every, everywhere. And that is just looking at things differently. So, um, you know, you've got this problem. How do we solve it? And it's not always the obvious answer. And so, you know, in, 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 in all, of our, all of our work, uh, we come across problems every day. I mean, that's why we like doing what we do. That's why we work in, the, in these fields is because solving problems is fantastic. But what you can also, but also find is work's the hardest but rarely recognised. These people could be doing work that may not need doing or they may be able to do it in an easier way. So they're actually working hard, but they're not working smart. So look, think about what's... what's Going on, and this is you know other people in the team. Uh, it's it's you know yourself. It's, it's whatever. Have, have a look at here's an area where I think we can do things differently. We can work smarter, and hopefully um, that hard work will be recognised. Um, here's another situation where your ideas just aren't selected. So you've got all these good ideas. No one can understand. You know, they, they, you can't understand why they're not selected. They, they're not. Um, you know that they're not chosen as the solution to these problems, and it comes down to this. Is a fantastic slide from Matilda, which is a great movie. Um, it's not the car salesman that you need to sort of pull out, but it is a little bit of salesmanship. So again, life isn't as logical as we, well, as anyone from a STEM background would would hope. So you need to do a little bit of selling, adding in those. Those those cool um, you know those cool little soft skills, a bit of communication, a bit of empathy, a bit of critical thinking, understanding the problem from the other way around. So if you know uh, you've got an idea to pitch, you know who you're pitching it to. If you understand what their perspective is, it's far easier to get that pitch understood. So um, this this thing took me a long time to sort of understand. I would just say. Problem, here's a solution, you know, done. And it just 50% of the time wouldn't work. And so we had to had to look at it from the other side and go, okay, same solution, we're just describing it in a better way. So we're just selling um, selling that idea. Okay, uh, wonders why no one likes working with them. So it might just be that you are an ass. Uh, or it might be that you know you need to work on various different things. I mean, we've all worked with people that are 
hard to work with, you know. And, and sometimes it can be such small stuff that we need to change. And, you know, over my, my time I've seen people that are exceptional, except for something. And, and myself, I, I go back and, and look at some of the things I've done and go, all this good stuff, and then I've, I've sort of dropped the ball here and here. And so what's, what's great is you wrap all of these, um, these skills up and we can turn ourselves from being this sort of guy to, to something much better. Um, now, there is a balance, though. Um, <laughs> if your soft skills are awesome, you might find yourself promoted way above your hard skills. So, so you do need to, to, to make sure your hard skills are um, sort of coping and, and they are in line with, with your soft skills. So, you know, and we, we have, I'm sure, all seen these type of people as well where you go, I can't even do the job, but they always seem to get promoted or, or get, you know, these great projects. And, and what they've been able to do is somehow harness all of their soft skill ability to sort of exceed their hard skills, exceed their, their ability to, to actually do the job. But knowing that you can play these things off against each other is great. So uh, lightning talk, lightning fast, um, that's it. Uh, listening is also a fantastic soft skill. So um, <laughs> you've done well, you, you've, you've uh, listened intently. Uh, there's, there's a really cool quote there, which um, I think does make sort of a, a lot of sense. And it's you know, what, what, what I think uh, is, is the, the sort of underlying message of uh, this talk. So thank you. Thank you.